Hello everybody, I am Innovators Bharti Sanjil Kumar and today I will be sharing with you a poem, The Enzyme Time. The news starts never end as a friend, tutor or book metamorphically kickstart the journey of exploration. On being encouraged to crack puzzles and problems, being a detective seemed perfect. But a particularly pleasant present commutated this thought as chemistry had many interesting problems to solve. Although the loathing second year of biochemistry lowered the enthusiasm, the organic chemistry professor boosted the journey by the invite of puzzles. More puzzles. Research on the piece of hardwood for its neoflavoids unleashed the splendid secrets. During this period, the course of this never-ending river of research changed with the introduction to the vast subject of molecular biology. Via a book hooked the mind at first sight. The success of sequencing enough DRNA was rewarded with one month song in Cambridge. In all Hi everybody! We know what is agriculture. Vivasayam. Wow, the real backbone of Indian economy. Are you interested in knowing about sustainable agriculture? Valam Kunja Vilanbai. Come on, join the Jewish for one minute. Sustainable agriculture, the word coined by Australian agriculture scientist Jordan Lee in 1980. What is sustainable agriculture? This innovation concept consists of three pillars. Number one, economic, that is doing agriculture for profit. Number two, environment, that is doing agriculture to protect planet, that is earth. Number three, social, doing agriculture for people. How to achieve this? Only by innovation. Number one, building and maintaining healthy soil. Number two, manage water wisely. Number three, minimizing pollution. Number four, promote biodiversity. I will give you some examples. Agriculture by crop rotation. Agriculture by planting cover crops. Agriculture by eliminating tillage and so many. We believe that you partially understood. Don't worry, we are giving you a great opportunity to meet Nobel laureate Sir Richard John Robert to talk on this topic on 25th August 2020. Come on, let's meet there. Bye. I'm Innovator Lakshita from Aijin Young Green Innovators Army. I'm here to present my Challenge 8. Once upon a time, at 1943, as the son of Edna and John Roberts, a legend born in England. Everyone will go to school, isn't it? Yes, so our legend also went to school. The school's name are St. Stephen School and City of Bath Boys School. The legend was really interested in chemistry, physics and mathematics in his school age. He found school boring, monotonous and routine. He failed his A-level physics in his first attempt but did exceedingly well in cracking mathematical and logical puzzles. Did you know that he started his life as a scientist at 1969? After graduating from the University of Sheffield, his interest in molecular biology took him to Harvard where in 1972 he attended the seminar that would change his life. Our innovative scientist is also a passionate reader which is told by his mom Edna. He joined the NEB as Chief Scientific Officer in 1992. Don't wait for opportunity, create it. Do you all remember this quote? This really happened in our legend's life. He got Nobel Prize in Medicine in 1993 
for his discoveries of split genes. Our great man was a biochemist, chemist, and molecular biologist. You might all wonder, who am I telling as legend, innovative scientist, great man? Yeah, he's Nobel laureate Richard John Roberts. Sir Richard Roberts is the lucky Nobel laureate who escaped 9 by 11 attack. A number of interesting things have happened to Dr. Richard Roberts in his journey towards the Nobel Prize, but one topic that he speaks quite passionately about is the importance of luck. If you're just using healthcare to make money, you will treat the wrong disease. This is said by a great contributor. I am going to meet him live and I am going to hear his lecture. Do you all know? I am really eager. Do you all also wanted to meet our legend? Join with me on 25th August in iGen SDG Plus YouTube channel. I am ready. Are you? Hello everyone, I am Sanyukta S. I am going to present my challenge A that is to talk about Sir Richard John Robert. Sir Richard John Robert was born on 6 September 1943. He is a biochemist and a molecular biologist. He was awarded Nobel Prize in 1993 in Physiology or Medicine with Philip Allen Sharp for the discovery of introns in eukaryotic DNA and the mechanism of gene splicing. He currently works at New, Lang New England Biolabs. Let's see detail about him. He was born in 6 September 1943 in Derby, England. He is the only one child of John and Edna Roberts. His father was a motor mechanic and her mother was a homemaker. He studied in many schools for the compartments. In 1965, when he was 16 years old, he graduated from the University of Sheffield with a Bachelor of Science degree in Chemistry followed by a PhD in 1969. His thesis involved in biotochemical studies of neoflavonoids and isoflavonoids. During 1969-1972, to 1972, he did postdoctoral research at Harvard University before moving to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory where he was hired by James Dio Watson and a co-discoverer of the structure of DNA and a fellow Nobel laureate. In 1977, he published his discovery of RNA splicing. In 1992, he moved to New England Biolabs. The following year, he shared the Nobel Prize with his former colleague at Cold Spring Harbor, Philip Allen Sharp. Robert's discovery of the alternative splicing of genes, in particular, he has a profound impact on the study and application of molecular biology. The realization the individual genes could exist the separate, disconnect segments with no longer stands of DNA first arose in 1917 study of adenovirus, one of the viruses responsible for causing the common cold. Robert's research in this field resulted in a fundamental shift in our understanding of genetics and has led to the discovery of split genes in higher organisms, including human beings. He got many prizes, including Nobel Prize. In 1992, Roberts received an honorary doctorate from the Faculty of Medicine at Uppsala University, Sweden. In 1943, he got Nobel Prize for Physiology of Medicine. After becoming a Nobel laureate in 1993, he was awarded an honorary degree Doctor of Science by the University of Bath in 1994. Roberts also received the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement in 1994. Roberts was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society FRS in 1995 and a member of European Molecule Biology Organization EMBO. In the same year, in 2005, a multi-million pound expansion to the chemistry department at the University of Sheffield, where he had been a student, was named after him. A refurbished science department at Beach and Cliff School, previously city of Bath Boys School, was also named after Roberts, who had donated a substantial sum of his Nobel Prize winning to the school. Robert is 
Sun, a theist and was one of the signers of Humanist Manifesto. Robert is a member of Advisory Board of Patient Innovation, a non-profit international multilingual from free event venue for patients and curry with givers of any desire to share their innovations. Robert has been a keynote speaker at the Congress of Future Medical Leaders 2014, 2015, 2016, 2020. He is also the chairman of the Law Lotrite Science Alliance, a non-profit supporting research worldwide. In 2016, Roberts and other novelists composed a signed a Lotrite's letter supporting precision agriculture GMOS. Address the leaders of Greenpeace, the United Nations and global governments and Sir Richard John Roberts has advocated for genetically modified organism GOMOS in general and golden rice in particular to advance health in developing countries. He is still alive now. I hope all got some information about him and known him. So thank you all for this golden opportunity. Today I am going to present my challenge number 8 about Sir Richard John Roberts. Sir Richard John Roberts is a biochemist and molecular biologist. He got Nobel Prize in 1993 in Physiology or Medicine. He was born in Great Britain in 1943. He was interested in Physics, Chemistry and Mathematics. He got doctoral degree in Organic Chemistry. He is a passionate reader. He began avidly reading about Molecular Biology. He discovered that the genes in the cells of higher organisms have a mosaic structure in which coding and non-coding sequences are interspersed, whereas in bacteria like E. coli, the genes are continued. This result was also achieved by Philip A. Sharp with his research team at MIT in Cambridge in 1977. Both scientists were jointly awarded in medicine in 1993 for their split genes. Their discovery led to decisive progress in many fields including cancer research. His current research focuses on DNA methylation in bacteria and the use of bioinformatics to discover new bacterial gene function. He is currently leading a campaign that includes 131 Nobel laureates who support the use and inherent safety of GMO techniques for improving plant varieties, especially those needed by the developing countries. He says GMO, genetically modified organism, can benefit the developing countries. Most crop species, all significant plant breeding has been done by large companies looking for profits. Such profits for crops consumed in the developed countries, but not for those in the developing world. Traditional breeding approaches are time consuming and expensive. Only big agro business can bring them to the market. However, GMO method is fast, highly accurate and easier than traditional methods. This will improve our own crops for the benefit of our own population. Sir Richard John Roberts is a great scientist. His contributions are a biggest asset for the future science. Thank you. Hi innovators, I am Nivita Shri. Today I am here to present my challenge 8 in which I have to talk about Sir Richard John Robert in an audio. Sir Richard John Robert was born on 6 September 1943 in Dubai. He is a British biochemist and molecular biologist. In 1972, Sir Robert started working at Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory in New York. There, he discovered that the genes in the cell of higher organisms have a structure in coding and non-coding. He was awarded the 1993 Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine for the discovery of introns in eukaryotic DNA. He is currently leading a campaign that includes 131 Nobel laureates who support the use and inherit safety of GMO techniques for improving plant varieties etc. He is married to Mrs. Jeans and has four children. Thank you. Hello everyone, warm wishes for the day. This is Parent Badiban and today I'm gonna talk about the legend Sir Richard John Roberts. 
Sir Richard John Roberts is a British biochemist and a molecular biologist. He was awarded the 1993 Nobel Prize in Physiology with Philip Allen Sharp for the discovery of introns in eukaryotic DNA and mechanism of gene splicing. He currently works at New England Biolabs. He was born on 6 September 1943. Sir Richard was born in Derby as son of Edna and John Roberts. When he was four, Robert family moved to Bath. As a child, he at first wanted to be a detective and then given a chemistry set by a chemist. In 1965, he graduated from the University of Shelford with Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry followed by a PhD in 1969. His thesis involved phytochemical studies of neophalvonoids and isophalvonoids. During 1969-1972, he did postdoctoral research at Harvard University. In 1977, he published his discovery of RNA splicing. In 1992, he moved to New England Biolabs. Also, in 1992, Robert received an honorary doctorate from the Faculty of Medicine at Uppsala University, Sweden. After becoming a Nobel Laureate in 1993, he was awarded an honorary degree by the University of Bath in 1994. Robert received the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement in 1994. Robert was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society FRS, in 1995 and a member of a European Molecular Biology Organization in 1996. A science department at Beijing Cliff School was named after Roberts who had donated a sustainable sum of his Nobel Prize winning to the school. Robert is a member of the Advisory Board of Patient Innovation. He is also chairman of Lorweg Science Alliance, a non-profit supporting research worldwide. In 2016, Robert and other Nobel novelists composed and signed a Lorweg's letter supporting Persian agriculture addressed to the leaders of Greenpeace, the United Nations and the global government and Sir Robert has advocated for genetically modified organism. There is need for more science in politics and less politics in science, said by legend Sir Richard John Roberts. Thank you. Hi, this is Innovative Premish. Today I am going to present the Quantine Challenge 08 poem. Sir Richard John Robert, you were born in an ordinary family, but your but your invention was extraordinary. Your birthplace is Derby. Biochemistry made you become a scientist shortly. You graduated from Harvard University. Slicing of genes is your important discovery. Microbiology is the field of thirsty. Science got enlightened from your discovery. Thank you. Hi innovators, this is Innovator Rukshana. For today, I will be presenting my challenge number 8, which is about Sir Richard John Roberts. Yeah, now let's get into it. Sir Richard John Roberts was born on 6 September 1943 at Derby, England. He was the son of Edna and John Roberts, who was an auto mechanic. When he was four, their family moved to Bath, where he attended the City of Bath Boys School. When he was young, he wanted to become a detective and then he was given a chemistry set which made him think about a chemist. In 1965, he graduated from the University of Sheffield with a Bachelor of Science degree in chemistry, followed by a PhD in 1969. His thesis involved phytochemical studies of neoflavonoids and isoflavonoids. Before moving to Cold Spring Harbor Laboratory, where he was hired by James Dervey Watson, a co-discoverer of structure of DNA, Sir Richards did his postdoctoral research at Harvard University from 1969 to 1972. In 1977, he published his discovery of RNA splicing. In 1992, he moved to New England Biolabs. The following year, in 1993, he shared his Nobel Prize with his former colleague at Cold Spring Harbor, Philip Allen Sharp. Robert's discovery, the slicing of genes, has had a profound impact on the study and application of molecular biology. 
the realization that the individual genes could exist as separate. Disconnected segments with long strands of DNA first arose in his 1977 study of adenovirus, one of the viruses responsible for common cold. His research resulted in a fundamental shift in our outstanding of genetics and also had the lead to the discovery of the split genes in higher organisms including the human being. Here are some awards and achievements that Sir Richard John Roberts have received. In 1992, Sir Roberts received an honorary doctorate from the Faculty of Medicine at Uppsala University, Sweden. After he received his Nobel Laureate Award in 1993, he was awarded an honorary degree that is the Doctor of Science by the University of Bath in 1994. He also received the Golden Plate Award of the American Academy of Achievement in 1994. He received the Fellow of Royal Society in 1995 and he was also a member of EMBO. Sir Richard John Robert is a member of Advisory Board of Patient Innovation. He has been a keynote speaker at the Congress of Future Medical Leaders in 2014, 2015, 2016 and 2020. He is also the chairman of the Laureate Science Alliance, a non-profit supporting research worldwide. now is aware about his achievements, his childhood life and his career and his researches. Thank you so much for this amazing opportunity. Thank you. Hi innovators. I'm innovator Sai Harni to present my channel 08. The topic is Richard John Robert Research. Richard John Robert, born September 6, 1943, Der Derby, England. Molecular biologist, the winner with Philip E. Sharp of the 1993 Nobel Prize for Physiology or Medicine for his independent discovery of split genes. Robert received a PhD in Organic Chemistry from the University of Sheffield, England in 1968 after postdoctoral research at Harvard University. He took a post at Cold Spring Harbor Labor Hatchery in New York in 1973. In 1992, he joined New England Biolabs, a biotechnology firm. In 1977, Robbers and a team including Thomas Broker, Hugh Cho, and Richard G. Linas established that the genes of the adenovirus on of the viruses that cause the common cold or discontinues the segments of DNA that code for proteins or interrupt by lengthy strips of DNA that do not contain genetic information. The coding segments are called exons. The non-coding ones are called introns. A research team working under shot at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology produced the same finding the same year. Previously based on studies of bacterial DNA, biologists believe that genes consisted of unbroken structures of DNA 
all of which encode protein structure it has since been established that the discontinuous gene structure discovered by robbers and sharp is the most common structure found in higher organisms occur oats in addition to having important implications for the study of genetic disease this structure is believed to drive evolution by allowing information from different parts of the gene to be brought together in new combinations thank you
calling at Cold Spring Harbor Philip Ballinger. Robert's discovery of the alternate space in Jean and Patty Gable has a profound impact on the study of the implications of molecular biology. Of all the scientists in the world, he may not be the best. Of all the discoveries in the world, his might be the smallest. But he almost touched everyone's heart as he stood on his own. Soon his discovery changed the world. So now he is the best.